Hello you guys and welcome to my channel and welcome to a layout for the scrap room. We'll get to the scrapping in just a minute but I wanted to show you what comes in um, a portion of the flavors of the month kit this month. Beautiful December 2023 flavors of the month kit is always four different mini collections essentially so we only have one portion of that today. Quarter of it. Um, so this is the collection by 49 Market called Christmas Spectacular and it is spectacular. You're gonna get three pieces of pattern paper and two pieces of cardstock. This time with this one, we are going to get two sheets of black cardstock. And if I remember correctly, it's the black bird. So it almost has like a blue black tint, but it's it's beautiful. It's like one of my favorite black cardstocks. And then the three pattern papers. Uh, this first one is called Homespun. So it's a beautiful, this reminds me of like some of the tablecloths we used to have as a kid and then it would have the print on it, but it's gorgeous. I love it and I love the distressed nature of it. And then the B side is some holly and candy canes. And then this one is called um, exem Exemplified. Hmm. Um, yeah, no, Postmark. This one's called Exemplified. This is Exemplified. Nice print. I love the ink. And then this gorgeous green. I want to use both sides and I think I have an idea. We're going to be playing with the sketch today with this. So I think I have an idea how I can tackle and get both sides. And then this one's called Postmark. And so it has some stamps and some greenery. Um, looks like berries, holly, Maybe some parsley. That looks like an herb of some kind. And then this gorgeous stripe. And then everyone's gonna get a variation of the embellishments. So you're gonna get a mixture of ephemera, chipboard pieces, and chipboard words. And it's all gonna vary per kit. So I can show you what I get. You could get some of the same. You might not, likely not. Um, and you could get completely different ones. So these are cardstock ephemera. So it just says amazing. This is chipboard. It's a wonderful life. This is cardstock ephemera. A nice holly berry. This is a chipboard. It says advent. This is a chipboard. It says Santa. This is a, some one of the words. It says pure joy. Um, there's two stars in one, which is nice. A little tab, a little ticket thing, a Santa holding a present. Merry Christmas, chipboard tag, chipboard here comes Santa, this says Dear Santa, peace and joy, happy holidays, all um, is merry and bright, joy to the world, this just says Christmas, this is chipboard, 25th, heart, and it's a wonderful life. So lots of variation of what you could get. These things, I tend to actually just like to use them as tucking pieces and have them peek out a little. Nothing too crazy. And let's get started. So again, I feel like I have some of the perfect photos. Um, I chopped all my hair off. Uh, around this Christmas and we're using the uh, sketch by the way for this month. So this is where I mean I feel like I have the perfect photos. So I chopped all my hair off um, and I was wearing this gorgeous one of my favorite uh, Christmas like outfits. It was this green shirt and it goes really well with this collection and then my dark dark hair so it just kind of goes anyway um but i thought this would be a great opportunity to document um me chopping my hair off and then i always donate my hair and my hair stylist is a good friend from high school and she always takes care of packaging up my hair and sending it off and I'm trimming down a picture of like all the hair I have because I decided I'm, I have more than two photos, but I have the two main photos and then underneath I will have the picture of just my, the pile of hair <laughs> and then um, a picture of the returned postage because my hair was too heavy. So I have really thick hair and I have a lot of it and she put on... 
she put on a bunch of stamps and it wasn't enough and it got returned <laughs> so we had to add more postage which she's like I've never had to put that much postage on somebody's donation before so that was just kind of fun so I wanted to get that documented um, I really 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 like this background or this pattern paper the um, script one and I want to use that instead of uh, the cardstock so I'm going to figure out what my two strips in the middle are going to be, which I'm going to use the straight paper. And I really toyed with the idea of not um, actually cutting them apart. But to stay true to the sketch, I figured I probably should. So I did cut them apart. So I'm going to figure out how, where they're going to lay on the background page. And I'm going to gut because I also want some of that plaid that's behind in... Um, on the back of this beautiful script mixed media paper. So that's what I'm doing now. And so I'm just going to gut that center out and then I can use both sides and it'll work great. Sorry, I'm playing with another layout while I do this. Okay, I'm done making extra noises, I'm sorry. So yeah, I'm going to gut. Um, so this sketch is for the Jumpstart sketch for this month at the Scrap Room. Um, make sure you are checking out all the fun challenges they kind of post every month. Or not kind of, they do. It's usually um, a Jumpstart sketch, the Freaky Fest formula, a color sketch, sometimes um, one of those word ones. Uh, word challenges where you have to have something that starts with each letter of a word. Um, there's always a throwback sketch as well, which are super fun because then you can play with some sketches that have been done in the past. So then I'm just putting this on the black cardstock. And then I will have a little black peeking out behind, but that does not bother me at all. It's so minimal that you can't notice it. Um, but I will then also mat my photos on the black card stock. So I'm going to do that as well because I want to make sure I have enough width to cover so that when I do my peekaboo, which will be a, a lift flap for those, um, the photo of the bundle of hair and the return postage and a little bit more journaling under there, um, that will be under the cut photo. And the main reason is that, um, because I'm going to have the title on the left, just like I follow the sketch pretty closely as well, just because the title is going to be on the left above the left photo. Um, I don't necessarily want that one to be the one that opens and it works out really good to have it done on the one that's on the right. So after we met our photos, I am... Am I trimming now? I think I'm cutting all the pieces for the sketch so I have it all done. Maybe? Maybe not? Maybe I'm just arranging how I want things. Hmm. But after I cut, trimmed the photos down to the size that I wanted them, um, that ended up leaving me a tiny piece of black cardstock that was exactly the width of my um, mats, which was perfect because that's what I will use to then create my little hinge and flap. So I'm showing you the other papers that I cut for those pieces because I did it off screen. Um, and then I'm gonna play with the embellishments, but I tucked that green, which is the back of this background paper that I got it out. And um, then some of that plaid as well as those other pieces like in the sketch which you can refer to up in the corner if you haven't noticed that already. I don't know why you wouldn't have, but, you know, just in case. Um, so I'm really liking the title I got, which is amazing. And one, just the transformation of getting my hair chopped off, that much hair chopped off, was an amazing feeling. I don't know if anyone else gets that, like euphoric feeling after you chop off a bunch of hair but it's just it it's almost psychological and um emotional because it's like the weight of the world has been lifted off your shoulders especially when you have really really heavy hair like I do but I'm sure it feels equally as 
rewarding or promising when you don't have super heavy hair. I just assume it does. I hope it does for you guys because it's a great feeling. So I will journal actually kind of about that, the feeling, and then um, the underside journaling will be all about how heavy my hair was. But I tucked all those and now I just get to play with the embellishments, which is fun. So I got a black little tab, which I'll put the date on of my haircut. I got all these other fun, like a chipboard holly berry that'll go up there in the corner at the end. I kind of did that last minute. I end up using um, the Santa. Normally I don't like to use the Santas, but I figured this would be a good spot. Um, down on the lower left corner of my picture, which I'll put down there too. But I will futz with where my title is going to go for a little bit. Because I wanted it to fit, sit there. And I was trying to decide if I was okay with it going over my photo or not. Turns out I am. And then I kind of actually tuck that tiny, the little bit of G is tucked up under, um, under the folding photo. So again, I apologize that I didn't really show you that whole process. Um, but I use a piece of uh, cardstock to create a flap by just putting a uh, fold in it and then adhere the fold to the top of the photo and then the cardstock where it's gonna go. And then you have a flap. And then you have a flap too that's gonna last longer. I've done it with washi tape. Other people have done it with washi tape. I don't like the way it ends up looking. And then also it ends up to me seeming like it it just doesn't stay. Washi tape loses its stickiness. So I had to make sure that that ephemera piece was going to be okay up there. I don't need to lift it too high and it'll be in a page protector most of the time. So yeah. And some people will know to open, take the pages out and flip it open. Some people might not. All I know is it's there and it's for me to create. And I kind of don't care if anybody knows it's there. <laughs> If that makes any sense. Um, so I will journal a little bit on this label I brought in from uh, L Studio, and then I'll journal down below um, the photos as well. But I like that holly and berry cluster I've got going on with the word that'll tuck my photo in. So here are some close-ups you'll get to see, kind of underside close-ups, and. Yeah, make sure you check out the Facebook group for the scrap room and um, the store and grab the kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll talk to you later.